to make a quick video talking about my white coat ceremony the end of my second year of PT school and going into my second rotation of clinical internships so the first thing I want to address is that everybody has been saying congratulations are they saying congratulations because they think I graduated it's like a lot of people don't have like a consensus on what a white coat is or when you actually get it that what makes things kind of confusing but it was just a ceremony that our school has in the end of the second year of school <laughs> to just kind of mark you moving into the more clinical part moving into the more clinical part of your um, school. So, yeah, that's what a white walking is. right now to get food. And I don't have anything better to do but to get on my phone. The second year of school, I still feel like my first year was a lot worse as far as like getting adjusted and all the testing. But when I got to spring of this year, yeah, midterms, it was like a whole nother breakdown. I'm starting to feel like a relief that I'm almost done. I'm going to the acute care setting this summer. I'm going to a hospital, so I'm really excited about that. I've worked in inpatient, but I haven't like actually worked PT in a hospital before, so that's gonna be interesting. So if you want some tips on how to do like a little bit of traveling within your budget while you're in like grad school, undergrad, main thing I do is always find a friend that is somewhere that I can afford to buy a plane ticket or that's driving distance. If I'm going driving distance, usually I have a little bit more money. So then I try to um, go ahead and get a hotel or something. It's a lot of traffic. And I've always wanted to go to California. So finally made it here for like longer than a layover for a flight so that's nice and it's not much to see right now I'm literally just walking around I'm in Oakland right now oh but this view out here is really nice of these trees and mountains it was so beautiful when I was coming down from the plane and we were like at the tip of the clouds but you can see some of the mountains peeking through well that was when I was in LA I had a uh, layover in LA this is just what I'm wearing today since it's a little breezy but the sun's also out so it is kind of hot so I was watching Beyonce one of her quotes that she put on there really like struck me it can't be what you can't see and I really related to that as far as like my profession I like when you don't see yourself in the profession that you want to be in you it makes it really harder for you to like kind of feel that I really hope like me talking about stuff this can really help motivate some people to like be like oh okay yeah I can do that too like if you ask me for advice when they just like see me or find out I'm in PT school and I really feel like it's so much it's when I'm like in one setting having a conversation with them because you have applications you have um, what school actually be like where you work all of these things that kind of go into it congratulations to anybody that just got in and they're getting ready to start in August. It's nothing like undergrad. If you're in undergrad and you're thinking like, oh, grad school is the same thing, you can sleep in this class, it's not. Once you make it through that first stressful year, you kind of just promise yourself like, I'm never gonna get that stressed again. Let myself have breakdowns like that.
guys, I got another trivia question for the day. Why was Alcatraz originally built? I have to look it up. It's kind of a trick <laughs> question. <laughs>